they watch their loved ones progressively get worse with the enlargement of kidneys and formation of cysts, which this will lead to kidney failure and you will eventually need a kidney transplant. Um, there are polycystic kidney disease is the fourth leading cause for kidney failure and the first cause of a genetic kidney disease. So it's not like this, it's very uncommon. It may not be as important as a cancer or an Alzheimer's, but the research is still lacking and families are still searching for an answer from doctors. This paper was created by researchers who took that chance with their career and they went to step outside of the zone and they tried to find a cure for something that few have tried to find. So I'm here, so here are some key terms that you have to know for this paper. Um, the disease itself, for short, PKD, it's a genetic disorder that causes kidney failure, large kidneys, and formation of cysts. The gene that is responsible for the disease is PKD1. It's a gene that basically, it makes the kidneys function as a whole. So without this gene, your kidneys are not able to function properly. BIM, which is a gene that promotes cell death. So if a cell is sick, BIM will go around and will start a process to kill off the cell to make sure that your body as a whole stays healthy. BCL2 is basically the opposite of BIM, and that tries to prevent cell death. And apoptosis is just a fancy word for cell death. Are there any questions about terms or disease in general? Okay, so first off, what the researchers did is they created genetically altered mice. So all the way to the left, you have BIM, you have basically a control mouse. So your BIM's fully intact, your PKD1 is also fully intact. So therefore, the mouse experiences no formation of cysts and the kidneys stay normal. In the middle, you have a double knockout of BIM and a mutated version of PKD1. So this mouse kind of blows up with a balloon because water, it has water retention and also shows large cysts forming in the kidneys. All the way to the right, you have BIM fully intact with a double mutated PKD1. And this mouse experiences the same symptoms as the mouse in the middle. So basically this slide is showing that PKD1 so far is the main cause for polycystic kidney disease. And that BIM plays no role in stopping the disease from progressing. So this is, these are some kidney slides that they took from each of the mice. And I want you guys to tell me what you see. Okay. Like what's the difference between them? And also when BIM is intact and PKD1 is mutated, 
you also see some cyst formation. So this, once again, would rule out BIM as progressing polycystic kidney disease. So this is a chart that they took. They went through the different genetic variations of the mice, and they checked for kidney and liver cysts. So they were mostly looking for kidney cysts because that's the symptom of the disease. But there have been some sightings of liver cysts, and they're not really sure why yet. So they looked, and these two numbers were significant because BIM is fully intact with a half mutated copy of PKD1, while BCL2 is half intact with a one copy of PKD1 intact. So basically, this is showing that when BIM is intact, cysts in the liver tend to form. Does everyone understand what I just said? So BIM is left as a just normal copy, but they want to test BCL2 also to see if it's like saving, it's saving cells that aren't supposed to be saved and seeing if that will help the disease or will help for the clock. Yeah? Does um, those show where the cysts like can form but they just haven't formed yet? Or does the what show? Like, on, on the yes and the no, it's like... Oh, this was the number of mice that showed a kidney okay. or a liver cyst. Okay. Yeah? Wait, so did the previous slide say that BIM didn't really have an effect on cyst formation? BIM didn't have an effect on cyst formation in the kidneys. Oh, Because sure. if you see, there's only like six of them, but the, it also has a half mutated copy of PKD1. So BIM might have nothing to do with that. It's just PKD1 positive. Um, so that is important because BIM and BCL2, they have the same domain in them. It's called the BH3 domain. So in the, the previous slide, it showed the liver cysts and they formed in when BCL2 was half present and BIM was present. So this could have something to do with the pathway that liver cysts formed. Um, in the absence of BIM, there are no liver cysts forming, and I mean, there are no liver cysts forming. With a normal copy of PKD1, so far they have not seen any kidney cysts forming. And so, so far, once again, they're not seeing any correlation between BIM and PKD. So, this is a more data that they found. On the top, you have the kidney from a zoomed out view, and on the bottom, you have a slide that they looked at under a microscope. So all the way to the left, um, also these holes that you see, that's kind of where, that's normal. It's not a cyst, which is something maybe confusing in some of the images. All the way to the left is a completely healthy kidney, and below it is you're seeing that gray pattern again, showing no cysts. Um, on the top, you see also there are no cysts forming in the BCL2 mice, but they did find that the kidneys in the BCL2 mice were smaller. So it may not be causing PKD, but it's affecting the kidneys in a way that may cause problems in the future. Because they didn't grow the mice to full adulthood, so that could also be something looked at in the future. All the way to the right, you have PKD1 um, mutated copy. And in this one, it's clearly larger. And you also see these cyst formations. And here in the slide, you can see, once again, the formation of cysts. Any questions? Okay. Um, so, once again, the BCL2 shows that the kidney, it, was, it didn't grow to full term as the wild type. And this is just overall just kind of showing what I said because I know it's confusing and different. But, so BCL2 is supposed to prevent cell death. I want to just make sure that, because I know I'm kind of talking fast. 
Vim wants to kill all of the cells. So by not having Vim, when there's no Vim, there's no liver cysts, which means that somewhere in Vim trying to kill off the cells, it may be causing liver cysts. Um, but that's something that I have to look at in the future. Um, so, basically, BCL2 and them appear to have no correlation with PKD, but it was worth looking into because now they can go down the road of seeing where it will lead with liver cyst formation because that's, once again, another problem that hasn't been looked at by researchers a lot. Um, and there's not much literature out there. Um, the BH3 domain is the only commonality between the CL2 and BIM. So they kind of want to see where that will lead them, and maybe that will help get them an answer for the formation of those cysts. And this experiment basically proved that PKD1, this mutated copy of there's a deletion at the 34th place. This is the sole and it's essential cause to cause PKD. Yeah? Any questions? All right, so now is when you ask different kinds of questions. Um, more experienced people will kind of like find some of the data and they'll try to pick it apart. But this is where you ask the big picture questions like, why was, I don't know, oh, somebody help me with the big picture question. Yeah, great. Why did looking at the kidney if it's about, I mean the liver is about kidney disease? Because in my paper I presented last year, um, that drug caused liver cyst formation and failure. So there's obviously a correlation between the kidney and the liver. And most like and patients who have PKD also experience cysts in other places, including the head, the soft tissue, and the liver. So they just want to make sure that they're covering all their bases. What does BIM plus plus mean? That is a completely normal version of BIM. So they did nothing to it to alter it. And what do we have? We have BIM plus plus. Yeah? Like, will, will it just, will just, yeah, just say what you just said about the head? So, it can. Um, every case is different because there are different types of PKD. Like, for example, there's autosomal dominant, which means if your father has it, um, and then he has, you have a high probability of one of the children getting it, if not more. And there's also like autosomal recessive, which means that you have a less likely chance of getting the disease. So it really depends on which kind. Yeah? I just wanted to straight get an answer on your mind. When BIM is present, there is a homeostasis in the genes, right? When BIM is not it's present. Well, when BIM is not present. When it's double knocked out, okay, when it's knocked out, there are, are cysts in the kidney. Yes. When BIM is intact, there will be cysts in the liver, but not in the kidney. Yes. Said that BIM kills the cell. So if, when BIM is not present, that means that BIM, when when BIM is present, it's actually killing maybe a cell that prohibits the development of cysts. Say again. So. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so like you said, when you have BIM, yeah. it's present. Mm -hmm. It kills off the cells, right? Yeah. But cysts also form. And if you don't have this, it's not killing off cells, and cysts don't form. So is it safe to like conclude or kind of venture towards that some cell that then is killing off is like help forming the cysts? Um, no, when BIM is BIM is fully intact, right? Yeah. They're seeing liver cyst formation. Yeah. When BIM's not there, there's no liver cyst formation. And BIM kills. So BIM kills cells. Yeah. Right? So can you say that BIM is killing a cell that is helping promote the development of cysts? 
Stop. Okay. No, we're not. But I think the more likely would be that domain, the H3 domain, because their ECL2 and them are both causing some um, alternative to a kidney. So that's, I think, where the problem I think the answer that she gave is right. But I mean, what you're proposing is certainly possible. Um, it's just, I, I don't think you can include that. Yeah, no, I'm not. So I just include it. Kaylee did not solve cancer this morning. Uh, just so we know. There are many proteins that have the H3 domain, besides the BCL2. Absolutely. In paper, were there any plans for future studies using any of those proteins? Um, they didn't mention them, but they did mention the BH3 domain. So it's very possible because this paper was just limited to three proteins of PKD1, PCL2, and B. Yep. Yeah. Uh, how does a cyst form? So a cyst forms by, in this case, they are calcium deposits that build up in the kidneys. And this PKD1 job, basically, is to make sure that the kidney is functioning, that it's doing its proper job, and that it's basically not getting sick. So by having a bad copy, it's a deletion in the 34th place. So that deletion, whatever that is, it's somehow controlled the overall making sure the kidney is healthy. Um, so when it's not there, the calcium deposits will form. So patients right now are told to drink lots of water and to have a low protein diet and low caffeine diet because those things will help to progress the cyst to become larger. Yeah. Uh, just for those who don't know, can you maybe briefly explain what the domain is? Okay. So a domain is, you have like a protein, and a domain is a portion of that protein, and that portion of that protein has a specific job that helps the protein as a whole function. So proteins have like many different jobs, and one of them, let's say one of them is to make sure that your kidney is normal size-wise, and this is PKD1. If this isn't working, then the kidney could get larger or smaller, and the domain wouldn't be able to tell the protein to fix it. Does that make sense? Yeah. So basically, you have two copies of every gene in your body, one from your mom, one from your dad. So that means you have two copies of it in your body. So you just take both of them out. Um, yeah? Uh, does the mutation with the deletion of the 34th uh, on the PKD have any other physiological effects or just the cyst formation? Um, as far as I know, it's just the cyst formation and because of the cyst forming, the kidneys become larger. So it doesn't affect other kidney Um, But the, the kidneys forming will prevent, eventually that's what causes the kidney failure is because your kidneys are not able to filter through what your body is putting through them. So that's why people will be kidney transplant. Yeah? Different experiments with what with PKD1? Different conditions. Um, they didn't because this is the no this is known to cause PKD. There's also PKD2, which is has the same job as PKD1, which they didn't look into, which I was kind of surprised about, because it's also known to cause PKD. But this one is more prominent, so I think they chose that one. Um, yeah? One more question. Um, did they go into, um, you know, maybe the end of, you know, ECL2 didn't have an impact on kidney system. Did they go into anything else that might have a role in the creation of those cysts? Um, they didn't. They just only 
analyze the MBCL2 and PKD1. Um, I'm not sure why that they had such a narrow scope looking in, but I think they just wanted to confirm that they do not have a role in PKD. Sydney just sent you an email, so if you could please respond by tomorrow afternoon, that'd be great. Next week, next week. See you next week. Who's next week? Oh, Julia. It's Andrew. Andrew. I'm just kidding, Andrew, yay. Claire. Wait, I'm just kidding, Claire.